Welcome to the Zeems Online Tutorials by Cinematrics Technologies. Today I will show you how to configure Zeems to filter inbound messages for a Microsoft Exchange server. To save time I will skip the installation process. The installation files and instructions can be found in our download page. By default, the admin console will launch once I click on finish. In the future, if I want to access the admin console, I will need to open up a browser. Next, I will have to enter my machine's IP address or localhost and then the web port number, which is 5272. The admin console will now display the initial setup wizard. First, I will have to specify the admin credentials. I will put my email address here. I then leave the admin ID as admin and then set up the password. The admin ID and password are used for logging into the web interface as the administrator. Next, I will have to select the mode I want to use in Zeems. Since my goal is to filter messages for my Exchange server, I will set the mode to Spam Firewall. My next step will be to enter in my Exchange server's address and port number. I put my IP address in the first field. I can also enter in the host name instead. I leave the port number at 25 since my Exchange server already uses this port number. Before I can access the admin console, I will need to register Zeems. I will have to fill out each line. If you are using Zeems for personal use and do not have a company name, you can specify your name here. Now that the initial setup is done, I can now access the web interface to check other configurations. The values for the spam firewall settings were added into the SMTP proxy server settings. I can see this configuration by clicking on the gear icon, or I can hover my mouse over server configuration and then click on SMTP proxy configuration. If you would like, you can use the regular SMTP server instead of the proxy server. Although the regular SMTP server requires a bit more configuration, it has a few advantages over the proxy server. If your actual email server goes down for whatever reason, the proxy server will also go down. However, the regular SMTP server will stay up and will keep the incoming messages in a local queue until your email server is back up. The regular SMTP server can distribute incoming emails to more than one server. For example, Domain1.com goes to an Exchange server, while Domain2.com goes to a Qmail server. For this tutorial, I will use the proxy server. If I want to use the regular server, I will have to do the following. I first disable the proxy server by unchecking the option Enable SMTP Proxy. I then click on SMTP Configuration and click on the Domain tab. In here, I enter in the domain name and forward the domain name to my Exchange's IP address. Next, I click on the Basic tab. In here, I check the option Server Enabled and then change the port number to 25 since no other email server is listening on this machine. Please make sure to click on Save after configuring everything in this page. This next step is very important. I will need to modify my network firewall to forward all traffic for port 25 to my Zeems' IP address instead of my Exchange's IP address. Otherwise, this whole process won't work. Now I will send a test email to one of my users in Exchange where the message will be sent first to Zeems. Before I do this, I will look at the Zeems Live Monitor page under the Tools menu. This feature lets me view emails coming in and out in real time. The live monitor will display the email once I send the test message. Next, I log into an email account that is outside of the network and send an email to one of the users in my Exchange server. I now see this email in the live monitor. Since this email is not spam, Zeems considers this email as a good message. Now I will check my Outlook to see if the email is there. The test message shows up in my inbox. And there you have it. 
I have now successfully made Zeems filter inbound messages for my Exchange server. Let's recap what I did. First, I accessed my web admin console and set Zeems to spam firewall mode. Next, I entered in my Exchange server's information so that Zeems will direct the emails to my Exchange server. Then, I have modified my network firewall for all traffic for port 25 to go to my Zeems' IP address instead of my Exchange's IP address. Finally, I sent a test email from outside of the network to my email address in Exchange to verify that Zeems is filtering my emails correctly. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a great day.